Welcome to Temju World. This is Temju. I'm in Africa. Yes, yeah, somewhere in Africa. And um, it's just a tutorial because everybody has, you know, a lot of people, yeah, they like to act as if they're up to date when they're not. And they look at my content and they complain. You know, they haven't got the patience or they just do not know how to um, watch the video. So this is a 360 virtual reality video, which all of my videos on my channel, except my live, are all 360 virtual reality of my, my tour driving through Africa. Now, if you're like, oh, why is he just showing me the water? Ah, if you turn your phone, to landscape mode which is the best mode turn your phone to landscape mode and after you've done that you can move your phone yes you can move your phone left or right or up or down yes you can and you can move your phone until you see me try that for for something yes move your phone until you see me Ah, and um, if you're too lazy to move your phone, you can swipe your screen also. Yes, you can. That is another option that you've got. You can swipe your screen and have a look at me. Ah, have you found me? Ah, but you said I can't move my screen because I'm on my, I'm on my computer. something in the water here. yeah so the tide is coming in yes so if you're on your computer and you can't see me oh well voila you can just click your mouse and swipe your mouse on your trackpad and you will you can until you see me or in the upper corner you'll see some arrows tap on the arrows and it shall point you around yeah you know drag and drag your screen click and drag the screen and you can see me and if you've got your vr headset well um you tap the you tap the the goggles on the lower right corner of the screen yeah, you tap that, and when you tap that, um, you'll see it comes up um, like 3D goggles, right? Then now you can put your phone inside a applicable 3D headset, and you can view everything without the phone being in your hand, and you can see everything. Ooh, this is Africa. <gasps> well, this is a plane because some people ask some stupid questions. You know, I've got friends that went to school abroad, and they're like, "How did you get to How did you get to Turkey? How did you get to Europe?" Yeah, they took planes. Look, as you can see, there's a plane above my head. So you can look above my head and see the plane. It's coming to landing. Turbo pop. Yes, so they do have planes in Africa. Yeah, how, how did you get? How did you get from Africa? How did you get to Europe from Africa? Yes, they took planes. Breaking news. Um. Yeah, back to what I was saying now. So you put your phone in the headset and you can, you know, so it's applicable to anything that's 360. All of my videos have the metadata. Ah, but you say, Temdri, I can't see you clearly. Your video is rubbish. No, it is not. If you're on your phone, you tap the three dots and uh, you go to, you tap on 
whatever resolution number is giving you, maybe 240, 360, 480, whatever. You tap on that, tap on advance, and you can watch the video at 2164K. If you tap on that, then it should give you your clarity that you're saying, Temji, but your video is crap. I can't see you properly. And when you have done that, you're good to go. Ah, but you say, I can't see you clearly. Or you can't see the objects clearly. That is not my fault. That is your service pro internet service provider. Their bitrate is maybe a little bit too slow for. And um, certain things are not applicable to certain phones. Because if your phone do not have an accelerometer, um, you would have to swipe your screen. You can't move your phone and it works. You know, so, but it's there. So if you can't move your phone, you can swipe your screen and you can look around. Um, certain computers, yes, the video, because of the bit rate, yeah, it will, it will jam your computer. There's nothing wrong with my video. It's just that these are things that need to be learned. So some people, they're like, ah, your video is rubbish. I can't see. You should go back to a regular video. No, I am not going back to regular video. You know, sometimes to be the leader of something is rather difficult. It's very difficult. At the moment, I have one of the only channels that are 360 with people in it, like real life stuff. There are hundreds of animation, animated 360 channels. And um, a lot of other YouTube channels, they have made one or two or three um, 360 videos, but their channel is not 360 content as mine has been for the past two years. Uh, or, or something like that, two years? I, I think it's two years I've been doing it. I've been doing it for five years. And um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to change it. So it does, you're wasting your time by telling me to go and change your video, go back to regular video. Yes, when the iPhone came out, a lot of people were saying, oh, it's not like Blackberry. You, 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 know, you can't touch the buttons. And this is why BlackBerry lost out, because BlackBerry was ahead at the time. And all BlackBerry had to do was have a nice app store and um, hide the keys. But they were reluctant because they said that's their selling point. When that was not their selling point, their selling point was that BlackBerry at the time, you can contact you can converse with anyone anywhere in the world as long as you've got a Blackberry. So the keys was not their selling point. Um, my point, because I'm not selling anything, my point is when you look at my video, you do not have to look at... So for instance, you can look on my right. You see? Look on my right, you see. There's a big boat on my right. Or maybe that's your left. But it's my right. You can see the boat. Ah. Now ab above the boat there's a tree. Now you can view up and look at the tree. See? You can look up and look at the tree. And then when you're finished, oh that bird, no, it's flying too fast. You can come back around to my left, maybe that's your right. And you can see the estuaries going up and there's some other boat harbors up there. See? And you can look around everywhere. If you can find my van, you can find my van. But that, that is the beauty of 360 virtual reality video. Don't knock something because you do not understand it. And uh, you know, you think it sounds cool to say, ah, your video is rubbish. You should go back to regular videos. No, because a lot of you do not understand how it works. And you do not understand the benefits. I guarantee you, I've got a test for you. If you look at five videos on my channel, just look at five videos on my channel in any, in any order. Just look at any five videos on my channel that are 360 videos. And then go and look at 
another video and see what happens to your brain. Ah, then you would understand. Because it's not as if you've got to wait for me to turn to see something. Look, at the moment, this is for you to do yourself now. At the moment, I've got one good shoe, one good slippers and one bad slippers. Yeah. You see? Do you see it? Do you see my slippers? One good shoe, one bad slipper. Yeah. See, that's a beauty. You can look down. It's not as if I'm saying, oh, I've got a bad slipper. And you haven't seen it. You can see it. You can look down. Ah, and here's a beautiful point. I'm here by this estuary. But this is a river because my island doesn't have rivers. Estuary is this big. But this is an estuary. It's very, very small compared to the other rivers. Now, you can pause the video. This is another part about 360. You can pause the video. Pause the video and you can look around. I'm going to shut up. 10 seconds. I forgot how to count. Maybe it was more than 10 seconds. But you see? So if anything that while I'm filming that you miss, you can stop, pause, and look around and see. That means you can't miss anything. You do not have to wait for me to turn the camera left, right, up. No, nah, no, nah, you can do all of that yourself. And that's the beauty. So just, you know, do that. Be patient with yourself, not with me. You know, you know, sometimes innovation is difficult. The first person to do stuff um, is going to get a lot of kicks. So instead of people saying, wow, you're one of the only channels that because I'm documenting my entire journey in Africa in 360 virtual reality. Do you understand how difficult that is? You haven't got the slightest idea how difficult it is for me to do this. Ah. 360 everybody's this is a samsung no this is a um, gopro max and um i've got to stitch the videos because i can't stitch it on my i have to stitch it on something then i i i have to drop it on my computer edit it upload one video one video if i was to sit straight and do one video one video can take me depends on the country and um but to drag it from my camera to my computer finish editing and if the video is 30 minutes long because each file is eight minutes two seconds so that would be three four videos i've got to stitch I've got to stitch them first and then bounce them. Bouncing them to my computer because of the high bit rate, um, it takes half an hour to do each eight minute video. So it takes me two hours just to bounce a 30 minute video to my computer. Editing is very easy. Editing is boom, I can finish edit a video in five minutes, 10 minutes max. And then uploading that 30 minute video depends on where i am i'm um, with bad internet in some countries I, i'm not going to name the countries i've got bad internet um it'll take me one day um good internet um guinea bissau senegal it'll take me three hours to upload then it takes however long to process depends on the time of day so this is what i've done yeah, I can shoot a regular video, boom, 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 edit, export, edit, boom, finish. 10 minutes, boom, upload, boom, half an hour. Yeah, but I spend on each video, it's a maximum, it's a minimum on each 30 minute video. It's a maximum of uh, five hours, minimum of five hours. Yeah, check that out. 
But all, you know, a lot of people that do not understand how 360 works, they bash me. Ah, go back to regular videos. Your video is crap. Yeah, because they do not understand how it works. They do not understand that they can go to settings. Oh, sorry, if you're on your computers, you go to settings also. Yes, there's something called settings on YouTube or Facebook, wherever you're watching me. And you go to settings and you can change the resolution to 2160. Yes, 2164K, okay. not 1080. So you've got an option of 10, 1080, 1440 and 2160. 4k so you've got those options so you know i'm trying to educate people that do not know and the people that do not know instead of them trying to accept the education because they do not understand they bash 360 is brilliant and i hope it's here to stay and i hope i'm not the only one that does it i know the workload is a bastard but this is what i do to give you the content that you are seeing um, and I would like to thank everybody else that has been patient with me and that has enjoyed the 360 content you know um, that enjoy the 